So we got some twisty turny driving here. We're taking the back road to Miller's Thrift. We're gonna hit up a couple of uh, different thrift stores. I'm accompanied by my son here driving. Thank you, Justin. Let's see what we find. So our first stop was Miller's Thrift. Um, this is a relatively small store, as you're gonna see here, but it, it is really packed with good stuff. Um, there is all sorts of things that you're gonna find, like there's some Legos here. These are new in box. Prices are not super cheap, but they're not crazy expensive. He has lots of stereo equipment. I was almost gonna pay 60 bucks just because the way that that thing opened, that cassette thing opened. Uh, he's got games. He had, for some reason, this crazy collection of clowns. Um, I'm pretty sure he cleans out storage units, um, and that's just fine. So there's records, there's tapes. Uh, this, look at this, L.A. Guns, Lillian Axe, L7, Metallica, Pantera. He wanted 70 bucks for that bottom row. Probably worth it. Um, there are some sneakers. Here's the clothes, right? Some sports stuff. Uh, you'll see some glassware, some baskets and stuff like that. Um, this was the holiday season, so you're going to see a fair amount of Christmas stuff. You will definitely find some tools as well. There are toys, dolls, home things, sports stuff. Here's a little bit of the toys, some a little bit of home goods. It's kind of all over the place. It's loosely organized. Um, you're going to see some sports cards here. Actually, these are like E.T. and Elf and uh, a couple of baseball cards. You, you never know quite what you find. Magic, Pokemon, um, sports stuff. There's a couple of glasses here from the old-time Baltimore Colts. Um, so, you know, five and six bucks each. A little bit of stuffed animals. These are some handheld electronics from like the 80s. These are pretty fantastic. I actually ended up buying these. I like them so much. I paid $40 for the Super Cobra and what seemed to be a Tron, but there's actually a Tomy Digital Daredevil inside. Uh, again, some of that stereo equipment, uh, some old, some new, uh, some huge, some smaller. Has trucks. You're going to see he has a fair amount of racing cars and stuff like that. Uh, more stereo equipment, sound equipment. Uh, here's again some models are in there. There's a Aerosmith t-shirt you barely saw back here. Tons of video games, Atari 2600s, Playstations, um, Xbox, uh, all sorts, pretty much any kind of console that you can find. Some are, you know, open. Uh, there's a one you can barely see over there that's new in box. There's a racing set over there as well. This is, believe it or not, a Radio Shack TRS-80. This is golf, new. That's like from, you know, 1900. Uh, this is Oregon Trail for a Macintosh. So, again, almost anything you can imagine in terms of video games. And, again, you got to get lucky to find what you want, but there's a lot of stuff. Lots of cars, lots of racing things. Um, there, You saw some cars from the movie back there. Uh, camera. He generally has some camera stuff. Miller's is probably my favorite place to thrift in Berks County. Our next stop was less than five minutes away. It's a Goodwill outlet. If you're not familiar with a Goodwill outlet, it is kind of where uh, unsold Goodwill stuff goes to kind of die and be picked over by hordes of people. It is these bins. I mean, bins of stuff. Uh, basically, two types. One is all clothing, and then one is stuff. So here's my son picking through stuff. I mean, you're literally rooting through stuff, moving stuff out of your way, trying to find out if something is interesting or cool. You'll never know what you'll find. It's, it, I find it to be fun. You, you pay by weight. The more you buy, the less it is per pound. Uh, you'll find crazy stuff. So uh, this is a radar detector. Um, you know, some crazy little stuffed animal. Uh, you dig through the weeds, and what do you find? You know, something, some kind of piano, some kind of keyboard. You know, what is this, beat bugs? I still don't know what it is. Um, then you find, you know, a Terminator 2 uh, DVD that's brand new, on, it's sealed, little tiny hat. Uh, an Alabama, you know, kind of plate uh, or, you know, kind of coaster kind of thing, and it's in really bad shape sometimes. You find board games, um, books of all sorts. You'll see a couple in a minute. Um, there's a separate price for them. Sesame Street placemat kit. I actually bought this. I couldn't uh, find it on eBay. It's kind of really rare. Uh, so some interesting books. This is from, I think, the 70s, I think it was. Some, you know, great pictures of some of the national parks. So really fantastic. Columbus with some neat illustrations. Um, play pinball, right? Just sitting in there with all the other stuff. Every once in a while, they wheel out more bins, and you see a group of people over there. They're held back until the employees release them, and then they kind of make go for, go for a mad scramble. This was a box of uh, colorful handkerchiefs. Um, you cannot predict what you're going to find. Golf bag, 
a kind of a cheap version of it. it's ping ping is a good name but this was like really cheap it, i think it was you know it's from a resort it looks like um four seasons one of the things you have to do is look so i found these things these are um simplified musical notes they're really kind of very interesting they had been in a box and somebody obviously looked at them kind of tossed them or they got moved around i ended up searching through three different bins to find about 30 or yeah, 30 to 35 of these individual little booklets. So you got to do some digging, and that's half the fun. There's some records. You never quite know what you find. It's generally older stuff, big band, Sinatra. My son thought he found some Eagles greatest hits, but there was no record in there. So, you know, take a look. Uh, Bill Cosby. Some of them are in decent condition. I think some people hate this place because they feel like they're rooting through garbage, but I actually love it. It feels like a real treasure hunt. Then about uh, 15 minutes from there is the Hope Outlet. It is in Reading. Uh, we've never had an issue there. I know some people might be, you know, concerned about going into Reading, but uh, we we've never had any issues. We've eaten in Reading. We've gone to shows there. It's great. Um, this place is really large. You're seeing some furniture here. Um, it's basically a big open warehouse, um, and it's got a lot of stuff, lots of clothes, like you might expect. It has some electronics. This was pretty meager this time. There's been other times when we've had a lot more kind of stereo equipment and things that are of interest to you. You're going to see an exercise bike there just kind of haphazardly. Um, this I thought was kind of neat. This was from the days when you actually had a separate machine to tell you how to spell things, you know. A um, bunch of lamps, uh, camera equipment every once in a while if you get lucky. This was uh, a tripod and it was five bucks. So the prices are generally pretty reasonable. Sports equipment. Um, once in a while, you'll find something. Uh, this looked to be uh, something really sweet. It was a uh, Audio Technic cartridge for a stereo, and it's in box. The case is in there, and we're like excited. We have some sense that this is worth hundred, two hundred dollars. Uh, so we obviously take a look at it. We're opening it up. The case is in there. Looks like it's in great shape. The, the styrofoam's in there, fantastic, and it's empty. So. A bit of a disappointment. That kind of stuff happens. you got to look at in any thrift store what's in there. So they have a bunch of lamps, some old, some new. Uh, this uh, ice crusher I thought was fantastic. I kind of still wish I got it. It's so blocky. I love the color of it. It's, it's so impractical. Um, again, a decent amount of electronics, cables, cords, power chargers, things of that sort, home appliance uh, kind of thing like that uh, used. Um, this was a typewriter. It was like 25 bucks, uh, which is a little bit on the expensive side, honestly. They do have a pretty large section for toys and games. Um, and like there was this Barbie fashion uh, trunk that they called it. It was five bucks, which is reasonable. It was from 1993. It's not in great condition. There's a couple of places it was uh, ripped, dirty, torn, so it wasn't worth it. Uh, here again, I got excited. $25 bag of Hot Wheels. I thought, wow, this looks old. This is some cool set. You know, you put it together. It's got tons of track. Oh, track builder. But it's actually from 2016, and, and I'm always looking for older stuff. So um, lots of board games, lots of puzzles, some new, some old. Uh, you, again, never quite know what you find. I always check them out. I like this kind of stuff. There's an old battleship there. There was an old Clue detective game. This is, I think, the original, which is kind of fun to see. Um course there's glassware you know mugs glasses uh, pots and pans um, everything you could use to cook and bake with so uh, this I thought was funny x lax a child's delight not sure that's a true hope it's not um, this you know is you're gonna find stuff that looks old but is new I love these punch bowls man there's a time people paid hundreds of well, whatever lots of money for those and so now they're nothing you saw sneakers shoes clothes of all sorts again that's not of interest to me but there's plenty of clothes here there are some things like some sports stuff there's some eagle stuff here sixers uh donovan nab jersey for 20 bucks and you'll see here in a minute that they have some media like dvds and things like that um i actually really like this place again it's got some older stuff you will find some fun vintage stuff so i like hope outlet a lot we come here a lot and it's definitely worth the trip into the city our next stop was the op shop which is about 10 minutes away and it's a medium-sized store and you can find some interesting things you're going to see the usual clothes again a decent selection um, i found some pretty neat stuff here i once found a great fisher price vintage lot of things that i loved uh, these Schwinn bicycles are here. Uh, these look like they're newer. I didn't catch a price on them, but they're pretty cool. Um, they generally have more toys and games. Again, I got here about Christmas time, and so I don't know if they were a, you know, low on stuff, but uh, they generally have more than that. Um, not a huge selection, though, I would say that. Um, 
you're going to see that they, of course, have lamps, new and old, and somewhere in between. Uh, at the end of the aisle here, you're going to see a bunch of DVDs and VHS tapes of that sort, shoes, clothes, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, the biggest thing about this place that's unique is their books. So they have some of them out on display here. You get a sense of the price here. But this is probably the best curated and most extensive book collection, used books, obviously, paperback, hardback, by category. I'm pretty sure it's by author name. So you can really find stuff. It's not like the haphazard searching that you do at most places. So this is pretty darn impressive. I think there must be a librarian who works here who's you know, found a second calling. So uh, it is a lot of books. So great place to come if you're interested in used books at a reasonable price. They have records. This is it's a, again generally one bin. Somehow they never exceed one bin. So uh, right next to it was these old um, direction things for sewing. They're kind of kind of classic. They have some jewelry and stuff in there. Um, you know the cases, and then they had this. I'm not sure about that. Uh, furniture again tends to be a little bit older. It tends to be in decent condition though. It's not a bunch of crap. Um, there's some dressers and things here like this one. This chest of drawers with $40. Uh, uh, you can see some of the other things that they have here. This one actually sold and it was for I think it was $50 or $60. So you know prices are generally reasonable. They have some home appliances, some electronics. Again generally a little bit more than you're seeing but not a ton. It's, again it's a medium-sized store. Um, Kitchenware, you know, utensils, forks, all that kind of regular stuff that you might find something interesting in. Uh, this was like a, a little USB uh, thumb drive and a laser pointer for, I think it was four bucks. Yeah, um, you know, so interesting. A uh, bunch of cups, things like that. I thought this was actually an interesting find. This was um, an older bicentennial plastic cups in kind of really good shape for a buck each. A um, bunch of picture frames you saw there and then just like a clutter of stuff. Uh, stuffed animals, uh, things of that sort, a little bit of toys. There are some of the clothes that you can kind of see, and you should always check out uh, along the window some stuff here. So smaller store, but definitely worth the trip for sure. And five minutes away from there was our last stop, uh, another Goodwill. Um, it's kind of the usual store, medium-sized uh, shops are not huge, clothes, of course, shoes, all sorts of things. Um, one of the things that I like that they have here is on top of some of the clothes racks, kind of away from the kids, are these toys. And a lot of times they're stuff gathered together in a bag. I once found a bunch of Pokemon figures. I think I paid 20 30 bucks for it, sold them for close to 300 That was one of my first finds uh, that got me on this eBay thing. Um, yep, yeah, you can listen to the music. And again, most of it is newer stuff, but you'll find these bags. This is um, Geotrax, and there's two or three bags. You probably get them all for about 20 bucks. Um, it's a great toy. And again, some of the stuff is newer and just interesting. You, you know, it might be good for somebody. Then they have the usual aisles that are um, assorted in by color for whatever reason. So there's a bunch of glassware. Uh, you're going to see the orange stuff in a little while. It seems to be, you know, uh, Halloween year round. I thought this was kind of a cool uh, cookie jar kind of thing. Uh, the usual plates, glasses, and stuff like that. Some kind of strange little game thrown in here, numbers down, kind of a travel version of it. Um, you will also see that for whatever reason, the theme was angels, angels, and more angels. So, uh, you know, again, you find stuff. Again, it was holiday season. They have records, they have them stacked up like this, kind of hard to look through. We did sit down and go through some. We actually found a couple. Uh, you know, sometimes you find kids on Sesame Street. Uh, believe it or not, I found uh, an Edgar Winters. I found a um, Steve Martin, uh, Wild and Crazy Guy, unopened, which is crazy. Tons of DVDs, tons of tapes, uh, CDs especially, not so many tapes. Uh, here's the usual stuff. You know, you got these kind of statue -y kinds of things. Again, Christmas stuff. I looked at this for a minute, I'm like, wow, what's that? And yeah, no, it's just like a picture on the stand. So, yeah, for three bucks. So the prices are okay. Uh, not super cheap. You saw the books, you saw home goods. And so you'll be going through aisles and aisles of stuff, and then you'll see some kind of crazy thing like this against some kind of pirate boat for some reason. Um, so, again, it's your regular kind of goodwill. They do have this extra section out here where you might find something, some furniture and stuff. So, definitely worth the trip. Kind of a regular goodwill, regular prices, regular selection. So, uh, worth the trip. It's, you know, so close with the other ones that it's worth it for sure. 
So there you have it, Burke's Thrifting, edition number two. Uh, five thrift stores in, in about 30 minutes uh, under good traffic conditions. Um, they're all good. I love Miller's Thrift. Uh, the outlet is just fun treasure hunting, and Hope Outlet is also a lot of fun. Be sure to see my other guides to thrifting, including the Berks County number one, as well as guides to Harrisburg and another one to the Lancaster, Africa area. I appreciate any comments or suggestions for making these videos better. Thanks for watching.